Welcome back to another episode of the Dramatic Bible Reading Podcast. I'm your host, Bert Clemens. Well, today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 141 all the way through to 145. Now let's go to the reading. Psalms chapter 141. An evening prayer for sanctification and protection. O Lord, I call upon you. Hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be counted as incense before you, the lifting of my hands as the evening offering. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not incline my heart to any evil thing, to practice deeds of wickedness with men who do iniquity. And do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous smite me in kindness and reprove me. It is all upon the head. Do not let my head refuse it, for still my prayer is against their wicked deeds. Their judges are thrown down by the sides of the rock, and they hear my words, for they are pleasant. And when one plows and breaks open the earth, our bones have been scattered at the mouth of Sheol. For my eyes are toward you, O God, the Lord, In you I take refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. Keep me from the jaws of the trap which they have set for me and for the snares of those who do iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely. Psalms chapter 142, Prayer for Help in Trouble. I cry aloud with my voice to the Lord. I make supplication with my voice to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before Him. I declare my trouble before Him. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, You knew my path. In the way where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. Look to the night and see, for there is no one who regards me. There is no escape for me. No one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord. I said, You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, so that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me. For you will deal bountifully with me. Psalms 143. Prayer for deliverance and guidance. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your faithfulness, in your righteousness. And do not enter into judgment with your servant. For in your sight no man living is righteous. For the evil have persecuted my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in dark places like those who have long been dead. Therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your doings. I muse on the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul longs for you as a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will become like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk. For to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For the sake of your name, O Lord, revive me. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your loving kindness, cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul. For I am your servant. 
Psalms chapter 144, Prayer for Rescue and Prosperity. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my loving kindness and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. O Lord, what is man that you take knowledge of him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a mere breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains that they may smoke. Flash forth lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and confuse them. Stretch forth your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me out of great waters, out of the hand of aliens whose mouths speak deceit and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a harp and ten strings, I will sing praises to you, who give salvation to kings, who rescues David his servant from the evil sword. Rescue me and deliver me out of the hand of aliens, whose mouth speaks deceit, whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Let our sons in their youth be as grown-up plants, and our daughters as corner pillars fashioned as for a palace. Let our garners be full, furnishing every kind of produce, and our fox bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Let our cattle bear without mishap and without loss. Let there be no outcry in our streets. How blessed are the people who are so situated how blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Psalms chapter 141. The Lord extols for his goodness. I will extol you, O God, O King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works I will meditate. Men shall speak of the power of your awesome acts and I will tell of your greatness. They shall eagerly utter the memory of your abundant goodness and will shout joyfully of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great in loving kindness. The Lord is good to all, and his mercies are over all his works. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and your godly ones shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power, to make known to the sons of men your mighty acts and the glory of the majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord sustains all who fall and raise up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and kind in all his deeds. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and will save them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. And that is the end of Psalms chapter 145. Well, that concludes another episode of the Dramatic Bible Reading Podcast. You know, saints, the Lord is our shield and our protector. He is great and greatly to be praised. Tell someone about this podcast. 
because you know faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Until next time, I'm your host, Bert Clemens.